Agent Baker. We have intel on the person who's been asking questions. It's a Lieutenant John McBain. Military? Chief Detective, Landview PD. He's got a copy of that file. Does he know what he has on his hands? Well, it's unlikely. He's ex-bureau, but there's no way he could decrypt that file. Thanks, Ken. Stay on. Good evening. And how are you today? I know you heard me. After all this time, I thought you'd be dying to talk, but I guess it's not that easy. We'll give you a few minutes to find your voice. And then we have some questions. Up the restraints? It's been a long time since you moved around, either. And we don't want you to hurt yourself. You're in a remarkable shape, considering how long you've been in a catatonic state. But, um... What day is it? May 20th. May. May, 2011. 2003. It's 2003. Isn't it? It's 2011. As I said, you were catatonic for a long time. For eight years? I've been here for eight years? You received the best of care, state-of-the-art treatment, physically, nutritionally. Look at yourself. You're an amazing man. We have a few things to discuss, starting with John McBain. Does that name mean anything to you? No. Lieutenant John McBain, you sure? I don't know the guy. Lives in Landview, chief of detectives there? Landview. Landview? Landview, Pennsylvania. Uh, tell me about John McBain. I... I, I can't. Can't or won't? No, I, I... I don't know the guy. Look, why is he asking about this? Is he the one you gave it to? Look, give that a file? I don't want to play this game with you. You know exactly what I am talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. We both know better. Whatever it is that you think that I know, I don't know. I forgot. I, I've been here for eight years. Eight years? Eight years. and went by like that in your mind. You are here with me now, and I can see your mind working. I don't know what that means. What are you even talking about? You took it! We know that, and we need it back. Okay. Okay. Now make it easy on yourself and tell me. Where is it? Whatever it is you think I know, I don't know. I forgot. It's been eight years. Eight years. It went by like no time in your mind. You're here with me now. And I can see your mind working. I don't know what you're talking about. What is he... You I... took it! We know that. And we need it back. Okay. Okay. Make it easy on yourself and tell me. Where is it? Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I really, I have no idea what you're talking about. Did you give it to John McBain? Is that why he's asking questions about this? I don't know anything about that file. Why should I? You get nothing if you give me nothing. I don't have anything to give you. Then why is John McBain asking How about How many times are you going to ask me the same question? Until you tell me what I need to know. I didn't give anything to anyone. We know you did. 
Well, you're not getting anywhere if you keep denying it. All we need is a name. Who did you give it to? Is it him? Who's that? I didn't give it to him. Then who? I didn't give it to him because I don't know what it is. I'll tell you what, why don't you tell me what it is, and then maybe I can help you. No. Actually, I have a much better idea. You're going to encourage me to stay here. And while I'm here, you're going to be a very gracious host. Because you have no choice in the matter. I don't know. I could kill you. What the hell do you think you're doing? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? Now, we have gone through a lot of trouble to keep you alive. And if you really don't have the information we need, then you're of no use to us. One shot of this, and you'll be dead in 30 seconds. Go ahead. to kill me in jail, remember? We came to an understanding. Need I remind you, we decided the best way to handle this was to keep our mouth shut. I know, I keep but your I... secret, you keep mine. I know, but if I killed you, then my secret would be sure to be safe. Because you would die with it. Can I make a wager? You kill me, you destroy your own life. You willing to take that chance? Go ahead. Go on, kill me. If you do, you'll never get the information that you need. You know where it is. Maybe I do. Well, I'm not asking you out on a date. I must. I'm gonna kill you. No, you're not. I know you don't like having me here, but you're gonna have to make the best of it. I am. Right, so. See, there's a contingency plan. Oh, what, like, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, <laughs> the microfiche goes to the news if you die? Right. <laughs> microfiche. No, sorry. Everything I know goes straight to my sister. And you know exactly what will happen if she finds out about you. It's laughing. There's no contingency plan. Of course there is. Like me to prove it? You have a good long look at this. Then you can decide if it's worth the risk trying to kill me. But I need a guarantee. If I tell you who I gave it to, how do I know you're not just going to kill me afterwards? You have my word. I tell you what you want to know, and then you're just going to let me walk right out of here. You still want to kill me? This hurts you too, you know. Which is why none of that will ever see the light of day as long as I stay alive. What if I die? One of my friends will give a copy of that to my sister, Dan. See? Everything's going to be all right. If you cooperate. That's right. I just walk right out of here. After eight years. I assure you. If you give me the information I need, you're a free man. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not convinced. Fine. Don't tell me. It's your funeral. No, I don't think it is. I don't. I don't think you'll kill me. Not if there's even a chance that I'll tell you what you want to know. You're right. Killing you won't get me what I need. But I know something else that will. I suggest you put that gun away. Welcome me to stay in your home. What the hell is going on? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Bob was just showing me where he hides his gun. Sure he was. Why? Well, uh, I decided I would like to have Tomas stay with us. Just for some added security against whoever's trying to kill me. Obviously, he would need to know where the gun is. The truth? Anyone? Well, anyone? Uh, why would, why, what other reason would I have to have the gun drawn on him? If anyone's going to shoot anyone, so he's going to shoot me. I'm the one who accused him of killing me. Right, right. Damn. Uh huh. I really just want to make sure no one else gets hurt. Mm. You guys probably want some time alone. I'm going out. Now take a good look at your chair. It's wired to a switch right outside that door. Now if I flip that switch, it will send so much voltage through your body, you will beg me to kill you. It's your choice. Where is it? All right. Father. Oh, 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 the star's father is died. 